hitting around here. But that's, that's, that's the way it is. As we grow in life, watch this, watch this. In 1 Peter, and I'm going to need some readers this morning. 1 Peter chapter 2. And the verse here is number 2. And newborn babies. See, see, as newborn babies. Yeah. Desire the sincere milk of the world. Desire the sincere milk of the world. Hold, hold, hold right there. Desire the sincere milk of the word. What, what do you mean, brother preacher? What do you mean, desire the sincere milk of the word? I'm, I'm talking about you're thirsty for it. You know that if I could just have more of the word, woo, if I could just have more of the word, I can grow. Just, just like a baby. Watch how a baby. The more milk you give a baby, the, 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 the taller the baby gets. When it gets time, the baby don't want no milk no more. You what I look like, what I look like. Me. Walking up here, walking up here, a grown man with a pacifier in my mouth. What I look like Sunday after Sunday, when you see me, I got a pacifier in my mouth. I haven't grown anywhere. I'm still the same. Just like a baby. And that's what we as spiritual, as spiritual Christians have to do. We got to grow. Amen. See, when you're growing the gospel, oh yeah, when you're growing the gospel, things, things come the way where when the winds of life turn around you, you're able to stand up strong. That's why. We, got, we, can't, we can't continue to be the same. No, we can't continue to, to be like little babies. Amen. Please. That we may grow. Mm -hmm. Now think about us. Just think about me. I weigh approximately. <laughs> <laughs> Long time ago when you met me, I didn't weigh this 200 pounds. But somewhere along the line, I grew. Yeah. I didn't grow taller. <laughs> I grew a little wider. Yeah. Yeah. On the front end. Yeah. I ain't got no back end. <laughs> but you know what? When we see each other in life, spiritually, it all to be where when you see each other in life, if you haven't seen your brother from time to time, you, know, you think about a, a brother that was here once. That left. It went on to another city. When you saw them again, he said, man, they have grown yeah. in the gospel. Mm -hmm. And even that's something, and the first time we see people, we think, boy, you showed them got big. <laughs> Woo, you showed them. But think about them growing spiritually. What about you? What about you? Have you grown spiritually at all? Yes, think about just on yesterday. Did anybody take time for yourself to actually read the word of God? Yeah. How are you going to grow if you cannot read the word of God? How are you going to grow when you're the one always, always, never encouraging anybody? Man. In order for you to grow, you have to stay in the Word, stay focused, Amen. and realize, 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 it's going to be all right. Amen. That's life. It's going to be things happen in life. When things happen in life, you got to remember, you know what? I'm not a baby anymore. Right. And when you're not a baby anymore, you can stand up and you can take some stuff. That's right. Yeah. Watch Amen. this thing. Watch this. I ain't even got you, did if we realize what words actually mean, realize how words can affect people. If we realize the word of hypocrisy, if we look at this word, this word means something. This word, this word, this word means something. You ever seen anybody that every now and then, when you see them this way, but on tomorrow they that way? That, 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 that word means just a concealment of character. I couldn't think about it. A concealment of character. What do you mean, Jeff? What do you mean? A concealment of character. See, right now I can have a nine millimeter on me. And you wouldn't even know it. Because I, I may have it, I don't have it. But if I have a nine millimeter on me, I have it concealed. Well, you can see it. That's the way Christians are sometimes. They, 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 they got some stuff in them. But you can't see it. They got some stuff all over them. But you can't see it. But see, I think about I think about a baby. I think about a baby. Well, when a baby grows, but ain't got something. He ain't got it all over. You can see it. When they when they when they, when they, when they go and, and, and get the food, they, they don't they don't just eat it so neatly. But they got it all over their face. Yeah. They got a beer on. Why you think why you think a baby got a beer on? Because every now and then they gonna drop some stuff. Yeah. That's the way Christians are. Come on with it, girl. Every now and then we gonna drop some stuff. But that's why we have to continue to grow in the gospel, knowing that we ain't the same anymore. We gotta grow up and be 
be strong in the Lord. If I got to preach it all by myself, I'm just going to preach it and tell it because it is the gospel. In 2 Peter, watch this thing. We got to have, we got to have, we got to have a living faith. When you want to grow, you want to grow spiritually, you got to have a living faith. You can't have no dead faith. You were saying a long time ago, anything that did ought to be buried. In 2 Peter chapter 2 and verses number 1. 2 Peter chapter 2. Well, let's go. Read. Lay aside all malice. Wait a minute. Lay it aside. Put it to the side. Don't worry about it no more. See, just like sometimes, you know when the bills come in your house? When, when you see the mailman come, and you, you know you know when he comes, he always comes in with joy. He's coming some, most of the time with bills. And you 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 bad at him, and you ain't opening it up. You just lay it aside. But let me tell you something. It's going to come up again. Brother, you open it up or not? It's coming up again. Yes, it's coming up again. And it's going to come up in due season. Think about it, think about it, think about it. You don't pay it now. You don't open it up. You just put it to the side. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just watch. Just watch what happens. You come home one day, you got this big old note on your door. Water disconnect. Why are you think it's disconnect? Because you laid it aside. You didn't pay what you think you should have what you what you're supposed to pay. And that's what that's what Christians have to realize. In spiritual growth, you got to take care of things. We might lay it aside, but you got to take care of things. Life, ooh, it's so grand. I mean, I mean, watch this here. We gotta have a living faith. We got we 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 we, we besides all things, we gotta have all diligence. Ooh, and I want I want I want I want to stay right here. Read, keep me. Wherefore, laying aside all malice, mm -hmm. all guile. Mm -hmm. All hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking. See, when I was, and I'm trying to get somebody, mm -hmm. because when I try to help somebody, I'm, I'm talking to Jeff Miller too. I'm talking to Jeffrey Allen Miller as well. Not just to you. We have to get. We have to become bigger than any problem. We have. We have to put envy aside. We have to. Put, we have to put strife. We gotta put it aside. We, we, we can't be the kind of people that, that always got things in our heart, malice, envy in our heart. How do you think you're gonna grow when you always got some stuff like that down in you? I truly believe, I truly believe that everything that happens in life, it happens for a reason. I just, I just believe that. You say, Brother Miller, why are you, you talking about? I'm talking about us as a people of God. I ain't just talking about me. Us as a people of God, in order for us to grow, we gotta put some stuff, we gotta put it away yeah. and move forward. See, I, I'm the kind of person, I, if, if, if Brother Mike and I, we, 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 we just come closely, closely, develop a relationship. And I, 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 he and I, you know, I tell, we, we, we sometimes talk about things, we, we agree on this, we might disagree on this here. But you know what we do? That's yesterday. That's yesterday, and I feel like, right, that's, that was yesterday. Uh -huh. We ain't gonna worry about that, that's yesterday. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what we got to do. When we don't fix yesterday, yesterday is gone. Now, let's concentrate on today. What can we do today to make the kingdom of God stronger? That's what we got to work on as people of God. We got to get stronger. You know, we don't worry about what happened on yesterday. Who? That's yesterday. James chapter 2. In verse 26. And this word, this word, we're just talking about virtue. We gotta realize, we gotta have some virtue. This word virtue means a, a moral excellence. I mean, we gotta have, we gotta have a moral excellence about ourselves. I mean, what do you mean, Brother Miller? I mean, something you ought not even do. Because you know, you got some virtue in you. You got some moral excellence in your life. Something you just ought not even do. Something you not even, you ought not even get caught up in. Why you ought not even? Because you got some moral excellence about yourself, and you don't put yourself in no position. Every now and then, we, 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 we get in position. Yes, we all do. But we got to realize when we're wrong, we got to fess up. Amen. 